everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Oh my goodness, it's been such a long time since I've made a video of one of the How to Train Your Dragon dragons. So if you're still following me, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so we are going to be making the Light Fury from the upcoming movie, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Okay, um, so that is the third How to Train Your Dragon movie, and we are making the Light Fury. Okay, um, so you can also technically make Toothless um, with this tutorial, an updated Toothless. So um, she, her techniques will be a little um, better than my original Toothless video. All right, um, so just follow along. You will need one loom. Okay, and check the description for the band count. All right, I'm actually out of white, so I'm using the solar bands, which kind of work pretty good because they are kind of a transparent, clear, like a, like a smoky white color. Um, so I think they'll work pretty good. All right, um, so we're gonna start by making her wings. Okay, so I'm gonna change my loom to the rectangular configuration here. All right, let's start with her wings. So anytime I put bands on the loom, assume I'm putting two bands on at a time. All right, and that is exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay, so just use white or whatever color the main body of your dragon is. So two go diagonally like that. Oh, and you know what? I'm sorry. We're going to take off the top two because this is actually going to only be 11 rows, not 12. My mistake there. All right, so we're starting from the second peg in each column. If you are using this design to make Toothless, just keep in mind that there are a few little differences between him and the Light Fury. Um, I will be making a fin for the Light Fury's back, and also her tail fins appear to be more of a round shape than Toothless's. So just keep that in mind as we go along. If you want to change that up on your own, that's fine. All right, so these are all just two bands at a time. All right, so now I'm going to make the little spikes, the little ridges at the bottom. All right, so this is one completed wing. We're going to make one just like that. All right, so I'm taking a white band and wrapping it around my hook to create five loops. And then I'm going to double loop a white band and pull that cap band onto that double looped band and then reclaim the double loops onto the hook. So it looks like that. And then we're gonna take three white bands, pull that on, and we're gonna attach that right at the bottom corner right here. All right, and I'm gonna turn it. Okay, now we're gonna make four little ridges that are gonna all be the same. So again, I'm gonna cap, or I'm sorry, wrap a band creating five loops on the hook. And then I'm going to attach another double loop, like I did with the first one. Except now I'm going to attach another double loop. So I'm double looping a second one, pulling that on, and this is going to go right there. And again, I'm going to turn it, and I need to make three more the same way.
There we go. So we have a total of four small ones and one big one there. All right, so now we're going to loop. So we're going to start here, stick your hook into that hole, find those two horizontal bands, and loop them over. Make sure you keep the loops of that spike around that peg. And now we're going to loop the two diagonals here. All right, and now we can just go all the way up each column. Don't grab those horizontal bands when you loop. Just go behind them. I'm going to use some of my um, scrap bands. Yeah, I call them scrap bands because I spill a whole container of bands onto the floor. Uh, to tie off these ends. So any color doesn't matter because we'll take them off eventually. We're just going to tie some slip knots to hold this stuff in place till we attach it to the main body later. I can gently take this off, try not to pull it too hard, use your fingers to help you. Alright, so there is one of her wings. Okay, so you want to make a second one so you can rewind the video. So you have two. I make I made mine opposite of each other, so instead of the angle being on this side. I would make it on this side for the next one, but you could technically just make both of them the same way. And then we'll just flip it. Okay, so we have two wings. Now we're gonna make her little feet and her legs. So I'm gonna take a gray band for her toenails and I'm gonna wrap that creating four loops on my hook. And now I'm gonna take three white bands and I'm gonna pull that gray band onto them, reclaim the loops. Now I'm gonna take four to create a little bigger area at the bottom of her foot. And I'm going to take three again. Oops. Okay, I'm going to take three one more time. And now I'm going to double loop one. Okay, we're going to create a narrow foreleg here. So there's one double loop. We're going to add another double looped. Two double looped. There's a third double looped. And now I'm going to take three regular, and three more. Okay, now we're going to use a scrap band. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this. Ready? Okay. So I'm going to go into the set that has the four bands and I'm going to tug on it a little bit like that so that the foot turns like that. Okay. Now for the front leg, what you're going to do is you're going to stick your hook into that first double band all the way through and you're going to pull this way to create an elbow that bends back. So this will be a front leg. If you are doing a back leg, you're going to stick your hooks through that same your hook through that same set and just pull the other way to create a knee. Okay? So this one is my second back leg. So you're going to make four of these and you're going to pull two so you have two back legs and then you should also have two like this, two front legs. Okay, so two bend forward and two bend back. That makes sense. All right, so you're gonna have a total of four legs and two wings. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make her little um, fin that's gonna be on the top of her body. Okay, so we're gonna need our loom again. So we're going to start at, at this, no I'm sorry, at this um, 
peg, so the fourth one. And I'm going to double loop a band, okay, just like that. Right, I'm going to do, let's see, one, two, three, let's try it this way, okay, so, so we're double looping one band right, right now. like that. Okay? And I'm also going to be double looping Actually, no. Yeah, let's double loop it. Alright, double loop here. Double loop here. 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 Here, to here, to there, to there, and then we're going to go down at an angle again, just like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have to put a cap band right, you know, let's see what the middle peg is. All right, we'll just cap band the bottom because there is no middle peg. So wrap your band around that peg, creating four loops. Okay, that bottom one, and we'll just loop this way. So first we're gonna loop all the verticals that we just put on, the last ones we put on. And now we're going to loop across for all these guys. Okay, we're going to use our scrap bands to tie all these sets off. There should be a total of 10 pegs that we're going to tie off. So there's one. Seven. Here's eight. Here's nine. And here's one more. Ten. Okay. I'm going to gently lift off from the bottom because all these are double looped and we don't want any of these to break. So we're going to have to lift these off. Pretty gently. So then we kind of have like a long strip of, of white here. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. Next, we're going to do her belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Okay, so I'm going to do offset. All right, so we're changing our loom now to the offset. Okay, I'm going to take two bands at a time, and I'm going to go all the way down the middle.
we're going to take two bands at a time and go this way. Okay, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double loop a band like that, and I'm going to double loop another. Okay. And I'm going to double loop one more. All right, now I'm going to take two at a time for horizontals, making triangles. of two and I'm going to go back to double looped. So one double looped here and one double looped here. All right, I'm going to take one band and wrap it around the bottom peg creating four loops. And now we're going to loop this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to take two more white, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all these loops at the end, pull those two through, grab the other ends like this, and I'm going to take a scrap band and do a little slip knot with it right at the end of those two. Okay, so those two are holding the whole group together. That'll make it a lot easier when we touch the stomach to the body. So now we're going to do the top part. All right, so this part might take you a little while to do, and that's okay because there's a lot of steps to this, okay? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to do her head separate from her body, and then we'll attach the stomach and everything to that after, okay? Let's see. This is where I wanted to divide. Let me just make a note here. Okay. All right, let's do her head. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to go 
one, two, three, do the angle here, one, two, three, four. All right, I'm going to take a band and tie it around the bottom here, creating four loops to create the cap band. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two bands across like that and two across like that. All right. Now we're going to do the nostrils. Um, I'm going to do mine in pink because if I do them in black, they're going to clash with the irises. So let me just find my pink bands here. Where are you? Where are you? Of course, I left the pink bands in my container. I'll be right back. So if you're doing toothless and you're giving him nostrils, I would recommend also giving him pink nostrils because you won't see black ones on him. Uh -huh. All right, take the pink bands, wrap them around your hook, creating five loops, and we'll do the same with the second one. Okay, and then I'm going to take two of those white bands and pull them on. Okay, two more, pull them on. Alright, we're going to pull them apart. Alright, and now I'm going to take two and pull them up over that peg. So two of the loops go up, so two of the loops are under, two of the loops are above. And then we're going to do her eyes, okay? So take a blue, wrap it around, creating four loops. Take a black, wrap that around, creating four loops. And take another blue. And I'm going to do that again. So I push those down. We'll make the other eye. Three, four. Take a black. One, two, three, four. Take a blue. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to take two more white bands. We're going to pull the eyes onto them. Ooh, what happened to my other white band? It got lost. Oh, God, I lost my other white band. Where'd it go? Alright, sorry. I messed up. See, even the pros mess up. Pulling my eyes on. Oh my gosh, did it really happen again? Arg. There we go, I got it. Okay, the loops. They're gonna go around this peg, the one opposite it. I'm gonna spread the eyes apart. Okay, spreading them apart. And we're going to do the same thing. Take two of the loops over that middle peg. All right, so they're angling down, okay, in the opposite direction. Okay. All right, now I'm not actually going to give mine a lower jaw. You totally can if you want to. You would have probably attached it to these three pegs underneath, but um, I'm not going to because I think she looks good enough without one. But I will be giving her um, her horns or her ears or whatever they are. So I'm going to take a band on my hook, wrap it around, creating five loops. Then I'm going to take a double looped, 
pull that onto it, clean it back, another double looped. Okay. All right, and this I'm going to wrap around these horizontal bands like that. Okay, and I'm going to make another one for the other side. Okay, so I already have one halfway made here. So same thing as before. Make a little spiky or ear and pull it onto the other one. Now if they're turned down, it's not a big deal, we can fix it when we pull the head off. <laughs> Alright, now as we loop up, we're going to attach the big ears. So I'm digging down under the cap band, and I'm going to loop the diagonals, then up, and up again. Alright, let's go the other way. center here. Okay, and now I'm going to do a big ear. So I'm going to wrap a white band around creating five loops. I'm going to take three white bands. I'm going to pull them on. Reclaim the loops and I'm going to take three more. And I'm going to pull those on to these loops as I loop them. All right, I'm gonna use my scrap bands to tie the ends here. push up from the bottom. Okay, and her little ears are there and her big ears, oops. Her big ears look like they're sticking out from the sides right now, but once we attach her to the rest of the body, they'll, they'll sit back a little more. All right, so it's up to you if you wanna keep those nostrils or take them off. Okay, I actually don't really think I want them. I'm gonna take them off. If you like them, keep them on. I think they're too, too much. I don't think they're that, they're that big on her. So I'm just gonna remove them. All right, so there is her head. Okay, cute. All right, now we're gonna work on her body and stomach. All right, so for this part, you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm gonna have to figure this out as I go. Haha, <laughs> I know you love me, right? All right, I'm gonna start with two bands right here, okay? I'm gonna take that back spine, okay, that thin thing, okay? We're gonna find the end that is not the cat band, okay? So this end is the cat band, this end is not. And I'm gonna go through the loops from one side and I'm gonna wrap them around that peg, okay? And I'm gonna pull them to the side like that. I'm gonna put two more bands here. And now what we have to do is we have to Pull this spine. Let's see. Um, through this way. Um, you know, we can stick them all through the same way. It'll be fine. So I'm going to go through the next set of bands. Oops, see, this is tricky. I like to make everyone's life really complicated. No! Alright, we 
attaching. All right, let's try it a little bit of a simpler way. Put two bands there. Now you could, preferably you want to bring it to the other side and wrap it around the other way for each one. But you know what, I'm just going to make my life easier and just do it like this. Okay, so I just wrapped it over. Put the next two on. All right, we're going to grab the next set. We're going to wrap it over. I wonder if we just wrap it upside down and it'll work. That might work. Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Sorry, guys. I figured out a better way to do it. Okay. So, for the second one, what you're going to do is when you wrap these bands around, you're going to flip them over. So, this set, you're going to flip and twist it the other way. There we go. Wrap the next two. And now we're going to grab that neck, that third set. So we're on the third one now. Go through it, through those four loops, and wrap it around that peg normally. Okay. I'm going to put two more bands on. Go through the next set. All right. But before you wrap it, you want to twist it. Okay. Two, oops, two more bands, wrap it normally, two more bands, all right, again, we're going to twist it the other way. Wrap two more bands. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Huh. Normal. Two more bands. I'm going to twist it. Two more bands. Wrap normally. Two more. We're going to, now this is the cat band. We're going to twist the cat band. All right. All right, I'm just going to make sure this one here is wrapped the right way because I might have twisted that one the wrong way. All right, so you could just attach them all the same way, but that'll cause the fin to kind of lock to one side. So I'm trying to get it so the fin stands up straight. Okay, so now I'm gonna do all right the rest of this row. So two bands here, two bands there. Right, this is going to be her little neck here. Okay. And now, yeah, okay. So now I'm going to take two bands at a time. I'm going to go like this. Oh, you know what? Let's do this, guys. 
This is what we'll do. Move these to here. And then this row, we're going to move it down because we actually need to move it. It's still going to be um, off center, but it's just going to be the opposite way. So this will go here. Oops, get that rubber band out of the way. Now let's do the other side. That's so much better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double loop right here. And I'm going to double loop one more right here. All right, and I'm going to do two at a time here, two across here, two across there. Two across there, two across there, two across there, two across here. All right. Okay, what I'm going to do here, watch. I'm going to lift off these two, put two like that, and then reclaim those. Same thing here, lift these two off, put two diagonally, and then put those two back on. And then we're going to do a double looped white band across these three pegs and a double looped across those three. Okay. So now we're going to attach our wings. Two right here. Okay, so we're going to take one wing and we're going to hold it like this so those ridges are facing the back. All right, and we're going to attach it to these three pegs. So we're going to go through the loops. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. All right, let's grab the other wing. Attach one set there. One set there. And one set here. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take my head, okay? We're going to turn it upside down. All right, and I'm going to be attaching these three ends to these three pegs. But as I attach, I need to take off those tying bands because we do have to add a horizontal band in here. So I'm wrapping those there. Go to the next set. Wrap those four loops around there. And then the final set here. Sometimes I don't have the patience and I just break them. Oops. Alright, so now the head is attached upside down, okay? So now what I have to do is I have to lift up the top two loops of the sets I just attached. Alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one double looped white across those bands and then I'm going to replace those loops back over. Okay. Alright, ready? Here we go. We're going to take our stomach. Okay. 
we're going to start at the end with the cap band, okay? So, we're not going to... Alright, what we're going to do is we're not going to wrap the cap band, okay? We're going to wrap the set next to it. We're going to go through all four of the loops of the set right next to that cap band and we're going to wrap it around this peg. Once you've done that, you're going to dig down and you're going to loop up, okay? You know, we actually could wrap the cap band around here. I don't think that'll make much of a difference. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it. Wrapping the cap band around the middle set. And I'm actually going to loop, like, pretty much almost all the way up the middle. So we want to make sure not to... We want to dig down here to the bottom two bands. Oops. I'm going to get that scrap band out of the way. to see how this turns out in the end. Yeah. I did like a trial run with most of it, but who knows exactly how it's going to look. Okay, I'm going to pause there, okay? All right, so back to the stomach. Take the loops on the other side, the other diagonals, and we're going to wrap them around there. Okay, so now I'm looping up one time, and I'm going to lift up that stomach onto those bands. So now it's kind of sitting on them, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the next set of four loops, and the stomach is now facing this way, and I'm gonna wrap them around here. Okay, I'm gonna loop up once on that side, and the opposite side, I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so just one time, because now we're gonna attach the legs, the front legs, okay? The front legs are the ones with the elbows, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like he's giving a high five, okay? G, whatever, okay? And what I'm gonna do, well, you know what? I'm gonna wrap, you know what? First I'm gonna wrap the next set of stomach bands. I just thought of an idea. We're gonna wrap the next set of stomach bands around here. All right, and now, I'm going to hold the foot upside down so it's like she's giving a high five. I'm going to go through the six loops, okay, so it looks like that. And as I loop up, the next two, I'm going to pull that foot on those bands, like that. There we go. Okay, let's do that to the other side. So first, we're going to attach the next set onto the stomach, and we're going to take the other front leg. Hold it like she's giving a high five. Go through the six loops. And we're going to loop up the next set. Just like that. All right. All right. Let's attach the next four loops of the stomach. I'm trying not to catch the horizontal bands in here as I go. If you do, I don't think it's a big deal. But I'm a perfectionist, so... I don't want to catch them in mine. If you do, I don't think it will be the end of the world. So I'm just going to continue going up, but just keep an eye on what I'm doing because at some point I'm going to be attaching the back legs as well. Alright, so don't lose focus on where I am.
attach one more set here okay, to this third peg on each side. All right, now we're going to attach the back leg. So same thing, hold the back leg like it's giving a high five with the knee down. Going to go through the six loops, pull up and attach. Same thing on the other side. Okay. So at this point, the bands are getting pretty stretched out, so I'm going to be slowly lifting off from the top and hoping that it turns out looking good. <laughs> So I'm just going to pull off some sets here, not all the way obviously, but just so the bands aren't as tight. Ooh, we can adjust her when we pull her off, I'm just, I just think she's really cute, I want to adjust her right now. <laughs> Alright, so I pulled part of her off, oh she's adorable, aww, okay. So we're going to go to the through the next set. Wrap it around that peg, and loop up, same thing on the other side, next set, wrap around, loop up, okay, um, now, let's see, alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to loop this one over, this one over, and this one up. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two loops in here. Okay. Oh, did we have another set we could have done? Let me see. Yeah, we did. Okay, wait. Undo this one real quick. Undo this vertical set and undo this set, and undo this set because I didn't realize we had diagonals we can attach to. We want to definitely attach those because otherwise she'll have a big butt. <laughs> or, or are those just... Yeah, no, okay. So, attach this set here. And attach the other set around that peg. Alright, now we're going to loop up. Here, here, and the middle set. Alright, now I'm going to attach, no I'm not going to attach it, I'm not going to attach it yet. I'm going to take three white bands, pull them through all these loops, okay, grab the other ends, oops, wait, let me try that again. Three white bands through that end peg, and then grab, tie a slip knot. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to take this off. Might be safer to go up from the bottom. Oh, look at her, guys. She's so cute. Come on. Look at baby dragons. All right, I'm going to leave these two tying bands on, but I'm going to take the rest of the ones that I have on her off. I'm, just, I'm going to check her out and see how she looks. So those two end ones are staying on. The rest are coming off. And of course, these take forever to get off sometimes, huh? But you definitely want to take them off, because if you just leave them on there, it's kind of dumb. Like, it looks silly if you leave them on. So it looks like my ridge is... Oh, okay. Yeah, we, it 
can be straightened. That's good. It's kind of flopped over. <laughs> but I think I got it to work now. This is so cool, guys. This is a cutie. Mm -hmm. this point I'm like, just break them all. Just break them. Break them all. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've used these bands, like over and over. Some of them are like really stretched out. Okay, so the only ones I have left on are the two at the end. Okay. Just get this little piece off. Okay, so I'm straightening up her little fin there. All right, and of course the ears we can straighten up too. You can always do this at the end too, if we still have her tail to do. All right, let's do her tail now. So cute. So the tail, here we go. You ready guys? All right. Um, oh, you know what? This is gonna be double looped. Three. Okay, I'm gonna double loop one more and now I'm gonna do three at a time. Three at a time again. Three at a time again. Three at a time again. All right, so show one, two, three, four. One. Okay. So now I'm going to take two bands at a time and do like this. Now remember, her tail design is a little more round than Toothless's. Oh, at this point, we got to lift up this band here. So lift that up. Attach those two. Put two here. The upper bands should always go on before any lower bands. That's why I lifted those up. All right, we'll put those back on. All right, and now we're gonna do some horizontals. So two bands there. Two bands there. All right, same thing here. So we're gonna take two diagonally that way. Two down. Two down. Lift up. So one, two. I'm gonna do another set here, like that. There. Two there. Two there. Two there. And then two here, and two here. All right, so I'm going to have these be double looped horizontals to make the top fin a little narrower than the bottom one. All right, and now I'm gonna take her, and it really doesn't matter if you attach her right side up or upside down. I'm going to attach her, let's see. I'm gonna attach her upside down just because that's what I was doing before. So I'm gonna take those, so she's upside down those bottom loops, okay, and those top loops on my hook, both sets, all right. And we're going to wrap all of those around this peg. So this might be a little tricky. This might be like one of the more difficult parts of the video. 
Make sure you have all those loops. All right, I'm gonna wrap all of the loops. around this peg. So now there are a ton of bands around this one peg. I know you love me, right? All right, I'm just gonna kind of push her down. We're gonna have to loop these first. So I'm gonna kind of pull them out with my finger, bring my hook down, and that's my, that's what I think is the easiest way to find them. I grabbed an extra one, something like that. Take your time to find the right ones. All right, now we gotta find the next two. Oops, wrong ones. Told you you loved me. All right, Oof. got the diagonal, so now I'm going up to there, and now I'm going up this way to there, and now I gotta go up the middle. So now we gotta find, there should be like three loops. You know what though, if you only find two, it's okay. One band won't be attached, but Honestly, if you only have two bands on this part, it's okay. So go up. All right, we've got that, we've got this. We're almost done. Get the other diagonals. And the last ones. Alright, I'm just going to take a single white band and I'm going to tie a slip knot at the end. Oops. You can take, you can use two bands if you want it to be extra secure. Sometimes that's a good idea. And then we're going to take this off. You know, I'm not really a big fan of how the end of the tail looks. So if you don't like that, we can work on that together and fix that, okay? Yeah, I am going to so fix that. All right. So if you don't like the, this, I'm going to make it a little longer before I put this end on. Because honestly, I don't like that. It looks like she's got like a, a, a club tail or something, and I'm going to fix that. But first, I can take off these tying bands. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this set of bands here, right below the top part, and I'm going to tie those off, and we're going to redo the bottom part if you want to with me. I do not like that look at all. She needs like way more bands in between those two. <laughs> Gosh, sorry guys, that was a fail. Alright, so pause there, let's redo the end. shouldn't take too long so just two bands at a time um, right here I'm gonna do double looped I'm gonna do double looped again I'm gonna do double looped again and I'm gonna do three bands and three bands let's see how that looks <laughs> All right, so again, two bands that way, two bands this way, two bands here, two bands going there. I'm leaving those that double looped band down temporarily. Two bands there, two bands here, 
two bands there, two bands here. All right, and I'm going to replace that double looped band. All right, let's try this now. So horizontals, taking two across there, two across here. Oops. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is like my worst tutorial ever. Okay, let's try it again. Ready, guys? Let's try it now. Hopefully she'll look less like a club tail. <laughs> So, sorry about that. That was definitely not my intention. One, two, three. All right, let's try it now. One, two. Ah! I am no longer the queen of looming, guys. I'm just, not that I ever was, but I'm just not with it anymore. What in the world is this band from? Um, let's see, that one should be still be wrapped around there. <laughs> oh boy. Let's try it now. Wahoo! Tie that around. Please work now. Oh, so much better. Now she doesn't look like a club tail. <sighs> So now what we can do is we're going to tug on that tying band to make it nice and tight. We don't want that to come off. That's like, that will ruin your project. And I'm just going to zigzag it through the bands to hide it. A little bit. All right. So now if you need to adjust anything, like if you want her legs to be more under her body, if they're sticking out to the sides, just stick your hook through the top and tug them down. Stick your hook through the loops and tug them down. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I apologize for the mistakes I made in this video, but overall I hope you love her. I think she's really cute. Okay. Adjust her ears. Okay. There's her face, there's her stomach, there's, she is from the side. Alright. Well, I hope you love her, guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Alright, I will see you soon, hopefully. Have a great day.